he's trying to sharpen a little bit the vowels. It leaves this icon of him just kind of crumbling a little bit down. Well, some things work well. What happened with John Bon Jovi's voice? Today I want to take a look and break down what happened actually with his voice and why is it so that elderly people just sound sometimes not really pleasant. There is a there is a cause for that. So and I want to look at John Bon Jovi today and I want to react to it. Let's start. Okay, let's start and make a little stop here. Now, first thing first, what you hear is a very strong wobble. Now, elderly people have a wobble in, in, in their on their voice. Now, basically, it's like this. If your voice gets aged with 60, 70, then the muscle is not so firm and tight anymore like it is when you're in your 20s, right? Because your muscle, I wouldn't say deteriorate, but your muscle gets used over the years of living, right? Speaking and everything that's going on with your voice. Now, especially when you're a singer, the lifespan of your voice can go up to mid 70s, like Barbara Streisand or Patti LaBelle, if, or Celine Dion, she's not 70, right? But you can really work with your voice for a long time. Now, sometimes elderly uh, people that don't have a firm, that don't have firm vocal folds, they don't really vibrate with each other anymore tensely. They don't have strength enough, you know? Now, because of this, because of the muscles not coming anymore firmly together, not having any more, you know, not being any more powerful, or they just lack that kind of power, and this creates like a very, swollen vibrato that's what you would say in germany it's an anschwellendes vibrato now in that's a wobble you know if you have a string and then you pull that string when that string is really tense and tight then you can hear a clear sound from that string let's say you have an arrow and a bow and then you kind of push the bow and then you you push back and the bow makes that that very firm and concentrated and narrow sound. You don't have that if that string is, is quite loose. This is number one, what I can clearly hear, and this is due to age. Let's continue, because there's a lot of things to say about this. make another another stop now the other thing that I hear is that he's very very narrow he's very twangy the vowels are very tight and also sharp let's give it a shot what you can hear is that he's much more twangy than he used to be because what he want to do is is sounding louder to get the voice into more power to get more uh, get more um yeah just powerful vocals to be louder and therefore if you want to be louder and you want to have your larynx um, raise up and you want to have your vocal folds come very good together you use twang twang is fantastic for things like this and twa twang can be an acoustic boost for you and can bring the sound up very much behind your nose and this is what i hear him doing he's doing he's trying to sharpen a little bit the vowels and therefore they sound they don't really sound pleasant like they could be but he's using definitely twang and definitely some vowels are very much narrow very much sharp let's continue it's very nasally also Let's make another small stop. 
Now, people in the comment section are absolutely hardcore frustrated and Bon Jovi obviously sings like this for some, some years now because I saw him singing in a wedding six years ago on a YouTube video which was already there at that point, not really good. I was a huge John Bon Jovi fan in my teenage years. I was living rock, loving rock, I was on that phase. And I'm really, really sad that a lot of elder, elderly rock stars, they can not live you know, in peace. They, they, it, it feels like they have to step up the stage again. We don't know the cause of why they go back on tour. You know, sometimes the cause at that age to go back on tour is because you don't have any more money. That's that's just, it's the truth. If you would have enough money, um, you probably would not go on tour knowing that your voice could not sustain this. Um, because to be quite honest, it is not really good. It's not good for his image and it, it leaves this icon of him just kind of crumbling a little bit down, you know? I think at that point he should have we don't know what's going on directly but i think with vocal hygiene vocal coaching speech therapy he could definitely still be singing really really well because he's not that old so 60 years nowadays is not the 60 years that you probably have in mind your vocal folds could give another 15 years of really working out for you if you have a good routine good coaching good speech therapy and you need to dedicate your life all around your vocal cords all the time from morning till evening what you drink what you eat what you do how you sleep this is all really important because you can have hyper acid reflux you can get very nasally because of allergic reactions in your food outside you have to monitor all the things in your habits and if you watch like celine dion who's really dedicated her life for her you know for her voice that's why she still still does touring and stuff like that. Also, I see lack of all kind of technique like breath support. He's he's really pressing the vowels out. And you can hear it. Oh, you have way there. That's kind of very pressed. There's a lot of pressure on on, on the diaphragm, as which you can hear because it doesn't sound freely, doesn't vibrate freely. And in order to have a good body vibrato, you want to make sure that you breathe right. Yeah. Okay. Let's continue a bit. Well, some things work well, you know, there are some moments where he can hold the, the note and it has power and it still has the old Bon Jovi in, in, in him. But then you have a lot of shouting, you have a lot of speaking, then it only works in a certain range. So his range is really, sh really short. Um, and yeah, some moments are fine, they are okay, they work well, he can sustain the note. Yeah. I'm just wondering why he doesn't have any kind of like, I don't see any backing vocals, I don't see any vocal double. A lot of Hollywood stars, singers, right, or pop stars, you can call them whatever you like, they have substitute singers that mostly sound like them. If you are looking into um, concerts from Pink, Pink has like several singers, backup singers that sound quite similar like her and I think in cases like this where you really where your voice is deteriorating and you have problems with your vocal cords it might be a healthy and good option to have good vocal good backup singers have a good mid playback going on that helps you with your vocals you know something like this and I don't I don't see it here in that case um, yeah uh, the music is mo much more louder than him, which we know why now. Makes sense, of course. Let's continue. Okay, 
let's make let's make a stop. I was seeing I, I saw different performances from Bon Jovi, very different kind of a variety, just to choose what I'm gonna react to. And I think it's a little bit, you know, there is not not like the worst at the moment. I think, and I don't want to be bashing no one because that's Bon Jovi in the end of the day. Bon Jovi's a superstar. He was my teen idol next to Billy um, Idol. Um, speaking about Billy Idol and then I, right? But I, I love them. I grew up with Aerosmith. I grew up with um, with Billy Idol. I grew up with um, John Bon Jovi, Fleetwood Mac. They were all my icons and heroes, and I loved their songs. And I was singing them in karaoke bars, singing them on stage and living them. And I think it's very, very sad that a lot of those superstars cannot just go, you know, uh, say, you know, I have, I had, I lived my fair share. I would only go on stage if I could make sure that my performance is 100% good and it's clean and it doesn't harm my vocal folds on the long term. Because what happens with this tour is that his vocal folds will not be better for the next performance or they will be not recovering for the next tour. So the problem is if you already are in a, a already have no vocal routine. Let's say, for example, you have no vocal routine, you have no vocal hygiene, which is really, really important because bacteria can go in your vocal folds and create a lot of different problems, inflammation and stuff like that. If you don't have um, a vocal coach on your tour, you don't have any kind of speech therapy that's coaching, guiding you, it will not get better from performance to performance. It's a, it's a rat's nest from all the things that can just only get worse by them. My best example is Adele. She just she made two operations on her vocal folds. She went out of the music business for a very long time to make sure her voice is fully recovered. And she only went on, on stage when she knew she could do that concert and then she could do certain songs and this would work well. She's still till no day doing any tour. And I would I was wondering why would she even do a tour in the first place? Because I don't see her voice sustaining a tour to be quite honest I, I if you have two operations on your voice your voice is a, it's a it's a delicate matter and the only and the good thing is that you monitor this for you the rest of your life so doing tours like she'd done before i think it's a very big challenge for her voice i don't say it's impossible but i say that would be only kind of like a few concerts in europe that's what i say six concerts europe and then you know concerts two in London or you know what I mean it would be a very very little to make sure that she could maintain the health of her voice let me know in the comment section what do you say to jump on Jovi's performance I would be so eager to know your opinion don't bash him please be nice but tell me what you think because I saw a lot of different comments saying you know I want my money back he must be sued sued for this kind of performance I think it's not fair for the for the hot hard die fans you know to make a presentation like this i don't think it's good too i would not go on stage if i i would only go on stage if i can make if i make sure that everything is really fine also for my health and also for the audience and they can enjoy and live this and it doesn't sound really bad also in tone yeah let me know in the comment section what you think to it i see you in my next video Mwah.